Hi everybody, this is Gijs again with another review and I hope you are doing swell. This review is about something that I promised in my latest video, the video on the 10 TPL Fell stove. In the final part of my last act, I basically showed you some lag because I took my trousers, opened the zipper and I showed you my underwear. This review is about that underwear. It is about the Thermowave Merino Extreme. Long johns and long sleeves. Enjoy the video and now let's get undressed. And welcome back to the review on the Thermo Wave Merino Extreme Long Johns and also Long Sleeves with a one-third zipper. And yes, it feels a sort of uncomfortable just sitting in nature in my underwear. When I'm in a mountain cabin, I really don't care. But here, some people might walk by and they will go like, okay, what the hell is this? And maybe they see the cameras and they will understand. Now, um, before I start with the review itself, it might be polite to introduce myself to those of you who just tuned into my channel for the very first time. My name is Gijs. I am a Dutch outdoor gear and bike reviewer. And sometimes I review gadgets like DJI drones and cameras uh, that I use to shoot my videos. I'm an independent reviewer and that means that nobody is paying me to make my reviews. Um, and I like to keep it this way. So if you like what I do at the end of this video, then please uh, maybe do a small donation through the YouTube thanks button below or use the link in the description below to my Ko-fi account. Um, any help and support is much appreciated. And of course, if you like this video at the end, then also please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because with more followers, well, basically it's more rewarding for me to make these kind of videos. Now let's start with the Thermo Wave Merino Extreme set that I'm wearing at the moment. This one, it's quite a special story because I remember the moment that I came in contact with Thermowave quite precise. Um, it was one week after um, Russia invaded the Ukraine. Um, Thermowave found me through my YouTube channel. Uh, they contacted me. And well, the first meetings that we had online um, were not only about the brand itself and what they do, but also about the invasion. And now you should know that Thermowave is a brand that comes from Lithuania, which is of course a neighbor of Russia. So in those days, um, and that's now two years ago, um, they told me that they were well planning to evacuate as soon as possible when it was needed. And that made a very big impression on me. And although I never heard of the brand itself, I thought like, okay, I will give them not the benefit of the doubt, that's not the, the right word, but let's do the review, although it's a very small brand from a very small company, but at least it's a company in Europe. Um, what is quite special, I think, about the Thermowave brand is that the factory where it's made, it's also in Lithuania. So it's not only the design, it's also the factory. And this factory, um, if you go into the Thermowave website, there's a very nice um, well, some pictures and some articles on this. Uh, it's already doing 80 years of producing garments. So they've got really a lot of knowledge. As I start with every video, uh, I weight stuff. The set that I'm wearing, I'm a small guy, 1 meter 70, 69 to be totally honest, in centimeters. Uh, and I weigh 63 kilograms, so I am a small guy. So this, what I'm wearing, is a size S, and the measurements I've done on this set. Um, the pants that I'm wearing, the long johns, they weight 196.7 grams on my precise scale and the long sleeve with the zipper in the middle, it weighs 227.4 grams. The material on both garments, it's absolutely the same. It is a 220 grams per square meter quality. More on this later. Now, what is absolutely special about this 
garment and maybe there are other brands that do this as well but that I have not heard of it um, but it is a mix of merino polyamide and polyester and I'm not sure if I've seen it in this construction because the merino and the polyamide it's the outer layer of basically this fabric and it's 80% of merino and it's 20% of polyamide so that's the outer layer but then the inner layer it is 100% polyester and when you see the fabric when you touch it when you look very closely at it you cannot see where basically those two layers go into each other so it's a very nice weaving and there is a reason behind this but I'll tell you that one later now regarding uh, the materials and the merino I need to make one little statement because um, the wool part the merino it is coming from farms in New Zealand and Australia so yes it is produced in Europe but it needs to travel a long way and it's of course a little bit of a disadvantage the other thing is that the sheep in Australia and New Zealand um, there lives a little fly and this little fly that has the tendency or the way of breeding or multiplying by getting into the area around the anus of a sheep there it does lay the eggs and of course when the eggs hatch maggots will eat away that area so that's very very bad for the sheep now there are farmers to prevent this they cut away the area around it and if you want to know more about this google it uh, because it is called mulesing now there is a mulesing free standard or a responsible wool down standard rws and when i was checking the merino on the thermal wave website they have got a very nice article on their sustainability they even show the farms where they Get their material from their merino wool and i checked the farms and the funny thing is that although they state a lot of animal welfare stuff claims how they deal with the farmers how the farmers check their animals there is not a responsible wool standard logo on it so i called them away for why do i have the impression that you're doing everything according to the responsible wool standards but it's not on your website well the simple reason for this is that they just applied for this standard they're into the process but they guarantee me that uh, of course the sheep and the wool it is checked that it is done by animal welfare standards that there's no mule thing going on now of course i like to believe people um, and in this respect i give thermal wave uh, the benefit of the doubt because there is no reason for them to lie to me um, it's a not very big company so i can imagine that in the past they did not need to deal with this um, and that they're dealing with it right now and that they will get it done in 2025 as they promised me so i will keep you updated on this part now let's get back to the reasons um, why they do this two layer system in one garment for those of you who don't know a lot about materials it's maybe a little bit of a complicated story but it needs to be told what happens if you're outdoors and you're being active you sweat and when you sweat the body doesn't like it on the skin so it wants to evaporate this sweat this evaporation is done by creating heat creating heat means that the body is using energy and that energy would be better used for your activities getting to your goal carrying your backpack doing your cycling trip when you for example wear a cotton shirt as a base layer cotton has got the tendency to absorb moisture and it is very hard to get that moisture out of the fabric by evaporation it needs a lot of energy so that's why i never ever advise people to wear a base layer or a t-shirt from cotton now a long time ago and that was basically the Lifa stuff from Helly Hansen that started this trend they came up with synthetic materials because synthetic materials they don't absorb any moisture so the body has got no problem with getting rid of their moisture it goes basically directly to the outer layers 
And then when you wear, for example, a breathable hard shell or maybe just a soft shell that breathes or a woolen shirt, it goes into nature. That's of course what you want. You don't want to spend energy in evaporating. It goes naturally. Um, the bad thing about most of this artificial stuff is that it starts smelling after quite a while and that you need to wash it a lot of times. Now, the trick is that since Merino is being used, Merino does absorb a little bit of moisture, wool. And because it absorbs a little bit of moisture, it even isolates when it's wet, by the way, um, you don't need to put a lot of energy in evaporating or getting this to the outside, basically, of all your stuff. But you still need to do something. Now, what Thermowave does is they created a polyester inside that does not absorb moisture, sweat. So that's been wicked away to the outer layers. And that's the combination of the merino and the polyamide. And the merino, yes, it absorbs a little bit of moisture, but only just a little bit. And then it goes to the outside. The part that is the role of the polyamide in this 80-20% mix of merino and polyamide is to make it not only a little bit lighter, but also to make it more durable. Because um, in my cupboard at home, I've got a lot of merino stuff that I've been using for a long time. And well, sometimes the threads, they just break, so you get little holes. But also some animals, insects, of course, they love to chew on merino wool. And sometimes you, know, you get little holes in them. Now, my experience with this garment for the last two years is that it is absolutely strong. So no holes whatsoever. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fit. As you can see, um, it is a tight fit. Of course, on the pants, because that's where you want it to be. You need it to be close to your skin. Um, and then you wear, in my example, like you saw in my introduction, I wear a outdoor pants on top of this. But also, if you just wear a waterproof hard shell pants, for example, this is just a layer that goes underneath there, if you like. It's very absolutely comfortable. Um, this one, it is a little bit, well, it's nice at the shoulders and nice at the arms, but it's a little bit not too snug fit around my body. And that's how I like it, because otherwise you get this really cramped feeling, and that's something that I definitely don't like. What I also do like is that all seams are flat lock seams, so you don't notice them when you're wearing the garments. Um, one thing, this is sent to me as a test example, and they sent me the one with the one third zipper. There is also a normal version available with a crew neck, I believe it's called. Um, that's what, the one that I would choose because I wear a lot of hoodies all the time. And well, when you have this neck with the zipper, sometimes it gets a little bit interfering here. So that's why I would, when I would buy this one, um, and I don't know, to be honest, if they want this one back, um, because that's what I normally do as an independent reviewer. I don't keep stuff, I send it back. Um, but that, when I buy one, I would buy a crew neck because that fits better underneath a lot of other stuff that I like to wear. Um, the cuffs, after two years, I've been using this not only in winter time, by the way, um, it's about four degrees outside, there is a little bit of wind. Um, it's that the sun is over there, sometimes a little cloud, but it is pretty chilly, that's why I'm still wearing my hat. My fingers are quite okay, my body is still quite okay. Um, the cuffs, after two years of use, um, they're not, how do you call this, worn out in any way. Uh, the same basically for the underneath part. It is a little bit um, less tight than it was in the beginning, as you can see. And what I also do like is that the pant, it's got a very nice elastic band around the waist so that it never drops. And it's not too tight. It is absolutely very, very comfortable. And now you can see the wire of my microphone. <laughs> so uh, this is how I like it. A little bit loose, not too tight. One big question. I told you this is a material of 220 grams per square, per square meter. Is this warm enough? Well, for me, it absolutely is because most of the time I get hot very, very easily when I'm active. So I've got some 400 grams um, merino wool base layers at home. I only wear them when I go up to Scandinavia and it's really absolutely minus 15 degrees um, from let's say five degrees and minus five degrees this is absolutely the layer that i would 
prefer. And even when it gets a little bit warmer, um, I've used this also in late spring, uh, early autumn, and temperatures are still very, very nice, around 15 degrees. Um, I still don't have the feeling that it is too hot, and I've never felt cold in this stuff. Um, and the thing is, I don't have a lot of material to show you this, because you know, of course never wear this like so in the outdoors. Um, so all the shots that I have, that I've been doing lately, um, you will see, you won't see this, but it's below my clothing as a base layer. When it's windy, it's, it's absolutely nice. If you're just wearing a soft shell or a shirt, it will keep you warm, guaranteed. Then, moisture control. Have I been feeling sweaty in this set? No, never at all. It is a very, very well doing the moisture regulation part. Um, you never have the feeling that it gets wet on the inside because of course this polyester layer on the inside uh, and on the outside I never felt wet as well because it only absorbs a little bit of moisture. Um, you never get this feeling that when you're wearing it you get this chill all of a sudden because of maybe some moisture that is left in there. The other thing is is it itchy? No, of course it's not itchy. Uh, merino wool is never itchy, even if it's 100% merino wool. But because of the fact that the polyester lining is on the inside, well, polyester, it doesn't itch. So that's very, very positive. Now, what about the odor control? Um, I don't know how they do this, but this one, I've been wearing it uh, for a period of two weeks, just trying. And I've asked my wife to smell my pits. And she said, it's absolutely fine. Nothing is going on. So odor control, it's fine as well. There's one little disadvantage of this polyester on the inside. Because when it's really dry outside and you take it off, head or hair, sometimes you really get this lightning feeling that you're struck by lightning because, well, it generates electricity. And then when you touch something else, you go like, bats. This is the only real disadvantage that I can tell about this. Now, um, two weeks in one row, no problem, so you can wear it longer. And I don't know if you've seen my review on the socks that I'm wearing, uh, the darn tough socks. Um, I'll put the link in the description below as well. I've been wearing those for way longer. Uh, I think five, six weeks on a row. And they still don't smell, but this is 100% merino, almost 100% merino if I'm correct. Now, um, when you want to wash it, it's absolutely possible. Just throw it in the washing machine at 30 degrees, but don't tumble dry it. Um, just let it dry in the air. Most of the time I use a rack with a towel on top of it and I put it on top there. Yes, drying time is not very rapid. I didn't really measure it, but I know that um, at home it takes at least a night and sometimes a little bit longer. Now, what about the wear and tear? Well, like with the cuffs, also at the end of my legs, um, with the waist, I don't see any wear and tear. There are no holes anywhere in two years of use. The only small remark that I can make on wear and tear is, it's in my crotch and here in my legs, because that's where the material rubs. And you can see some pilling over there. So that's the only thing that I've noticed on wear and tear. Now. Um, that was basically everything that I wanted to tell you on the Thermowave Merino Extreme Long Johns and Long Sleeves that I've been testing for the last two years. So now it's time to head on to my verdict. How do I rate the Thermowave Merino Extreme set? Well, in the first place, um, I like the fit. Tight here, a little bit looser over here. I like the fact that it is really nice and warm. It has an absolute super moisture control. It doesn't itch, um, it doesn't get smelly after a couple of weeks. You can wash it in the washing machine as long as you don't tumble dry it and the wear and tear, but it's only limited to some pilling underneath here. So after all, yes, this is a very positive review about a brand that I never heard of before and that is made in Europe. And that's something that I, of course, also like. Uh, what about the price? Well, the shirt the long sleeve shirt it retails for men at 84 euros and 95 cents the women's is a little bit more expensive because it retails at 89 and 
uh, euros and 95 cents. The Long John's they retail for 74 euros and 95 cents. Both prices they seem high, but if you look at the quality, how it's manufactured, and the fact that it is manufactured in Europe, and if you take it into a comparison to some other brands, it is well, it's very spot on. Now, one thing that is a little bit, well, holding me back in giving it a absolute top-notch notation is the fact that the wool in the garment um, does not have yet got the um, responsible wool standard labeling. That's something that they will get done probably in 2025, but for as far as that is concerned, I need to believe this brand. And yes, I do like to believe them, but I'm always a little bit reluctant on to looking just in somebody's blue eyes and believing what they're saying. So therefore, taking everything into account, I rate the Thermowave Merino Extreme set that I'm wearing at the moment in total at 9.1 points out of 10 total. Now, I really hope you like this video and that it is useful to you. And if it is, then please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because with more followers, I'm having more fun, basically. Um, if you're not totally sure about this video, because yes, it is just under weather, please um, look at the links that I do in the description below and continue watching. For example, my video tutorials on how breathable fabrics work. Uh, I don't think I did one on merino wool yet, so maybe I should that, do that one shortly as well. I've got many tent reviews, backpack reviews. I'm telling you how to fit a backpack, how to measure your back length. So please continue watching if you want to learn a little bit more on how I make my videos, what I am all about. And if you like it in the end, then please subscribe. Anyway, now thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you soon. Enjoy the outdoors and stay safe. Ciao, ciao. And now I am being very brave because the wind from the back is getting me rather chilly. So I'm going to put on my down jacket again. Bye.